Have you ever heard of compilers? They are essential tools used in software development that most people have heard of but may not fully understand. Today I'm going to break it down for you in a simple and entertaining way. To understand what a compiler is, we need to first understand how programming languages work. A programming language is a set of rules that we use to write instructions for a computer. When we write code in a programming language, it is called the source code. But the computer cannot understand this code. This is where a compiler comes in. A compiler is a program that translates the source code into machine code that the computer can understand and execute. Think of it as a translator that helps the computer understand what we want it to do by translating the code into a language it can understand. Let's take an example. Imagine a programmer is asking a computer to add two numbers. The computer responds with binary code because that's the language it understands. But the programmer doesn't speak binary. So, they write the code in a programming language like C++ or Java. This is the source code. But the computer still can't understand this. It needs to be translated into binary code using a compiler. The compiler takes the source code and translates it into machine code and makes it possible for the computer to execute the program. Compilers are also responsible for catching errors in the code. If the source code has errors, the compiler will not be able to translate it into machine code and will display an error message. Compilers are an essential part of the software development process. They help programmers write code in a language they are comfortable with and then translate it into a language that the computer can understand. It's important to note that different programming languages have different compilers, and the same program written in two different programming languages will produce different machine code when compiled. So, that's basically what a compiler does. It takes the source code, translates it into machine code, and makes it possible for the computer to execute the program. I hope this explanation helped you understand compilers a bit better. Thanks for watching.